All right, so I'm going to walk you through how to find images that you can use with your iBooks author and that you can use online when you're publishing things publicly to your students. Uh, the thing that we want to look out for is the kind of license that it's under and that we're not violating any copyright laws. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to look up the image on Google. So I'm just going to look up uh, Panda. And then when I do the Google search, I'm going to go to images so I can see images. And here are all the pictures uh, that Google has relating to pandas. So I have no idea what pictures have what copyright uh, with, with each of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google search tools and they have usage rights. So when I click on that, they have different uh, copyright um, licenses that I can choose from. And they have non-commercial, which is fine for teachers as long as you're not going to sell it. Uh, and they have the labeled for reuse up here as well if you're looking to uh, publish it to the iBook store and charge for it. Um, also, you'll see that there are certain pictures that you can modify in both of these categories. So I'm just going to choose labeled for non-commercial reuse because all I'm going to do is put the image uh, onto a document and distribute it. So then I can look through, find a picture that I like, click on it, I can view the image, and right click, save image as, and save it to my computer. As soon as it's saved onto my computer, I can then import it into iBooks Author or any other program that I choose to use.